Still, I work on the simple project to generate power from the sun, much more than that of the day blooms that create manna from the sunlight. My tree breeding and beehive keep working nicely in the background, and I have advanced somewhat. However, there seems to be a major issue in my warehouse. I can't explain it. It seems some sort of gremlins are eating items and moving others. I will have to look into the storage system another day, as today was spent trying to increase the output of the already overworked solar panels. That and a few new additions. Now then, welcome back to another episode of A Druid's Tale. Today we are back over with the bees and the trees in the forestry domain, trying to figure out what's gone wrong. But first let me show you what's gone right. First of all, we've had a little bit of time just running with four trees in the Arboretum, uh, or Arboretum, I'll get that right, Arboretum. Uh, and I've managed to get some pollen. Oh, and look, some more honeycombs are coming as we speak. Now, the some pollen is quite useful. Uh, I need pollen to make alvary blocks. Each one of these scented panellings requires a pollen cluster. And as you can see, each one of these blocks requires eight panels. And yeah... Well, it requires the royal jelly. We've got plenty of that, luckily, at the minute. But it also requires eight of those. So that's eight pollen per block of the alvary. And the alvary is quite a big multi-block structure. And so I've got enough to do one so far. <laughs> and that's been a long time coming. Um, I think there are ways of making more faster, but I'm going to stick with this idea. So that's just going to be a long-term back burner type thing. Uh, another problem that I've ha encountered, though, since I did the update to the pack, was that refined uh, relocation has just basically stopped working for me. So I've been ripping everything out and trying a few other things. Uh, one of the things that happens is that the old blocks, the old connector blocks, these things, no longer seem to connect in the same way as they used to. The wiki says that they're supposed to do exactly the same job as they used to, but they don't seem to. Now they seem to be moving on to try and use this relocator piping, which is basically the same piping as every other uh, mod that uses pipes. It has a filter thing. It's got a, a filter on it, and this filter is filtered for comb. So all combs go into here, which is a good thing. But it doesn't seem to be wanting to work properly for me all the rest of the way. So now I've managed to get this much set up. I'm trying to learn how to do it. You need this kind of sorting interface which directs things from a non-sorted to a sorted system. And then that should go into here, yeah. And that should be working fine. But as soon as I put the barrels on, it doesn't seem to register the barrels. And I've tried removing the barrels and putting the barrels back again and it doesn't seem to register barrels. Things just bounce around all over the place or don't move at all. And I've got numerous little problems like that around the place. So I've been slowly but surely updating. Like I used to have like just be able to drop anything into here and it would sort itself out into the correct chests. Um, the configuration of the chests and all that kind of stuff would work. But now it just seems to sit and not work or glitch out and not work. So my entire storage and refined relocation sorting system needs a change around and an update. Now the first thing I wanted to do was just try and get the bees all sorted. So one thing I've done over here is change around how I had this working. Previously I had this as all sorting connectors. Now I've got thermal expansion piping going around. So if something goes into there it will, uh, it will filter what it pulls out. So it'll carry on doing the recycling the bees for me. But this filter on the servo will pull out the things, the produce that I want to keep. But fortunately, that does mean that it won't pull out drones and the like. So it still keeps the drones and stuff in. I'm trying to see one that's already done. Yeah, there we go. Look, Imperial drones there. But this is pulling out the dripping comb and the royal jelly. And uh, yeah, the drones are left in there for me to empty by hand still. Which is okay. I've been doing it by hand in the previous system as well. Not a problem. Uh, but now the combs come over and the combs come down into this and then they get processed 
And at the minute, I haven't got anything coming out of. So they're all just processing all the combs from the bees in these areas. Uh, but I'm not getting any pollen from bees naturally like that. So I have to use the industry stuff for that. Uh, lots of honey. Lots of honey has been turned into liquid honey. We've got plenty of that. But even my, uh, my, my whole base was basically built around refined relocation technology. And all that technology has now kind of changed from underneath me. So I've got to start ripping it all out and starting again. But I don't want to do that during today's episode. I don't want an episode of just fixing the mess that I've got currently. Uh, but literally, look, there's some chocobo feathers. They go in, they come back out again. They go in, they come back out again. There is a there is a barrel there is a barrel here set up to accept chocobo feathers. There's a thing here that sets up to accept choco craft stuff. So at the very le least, I would expect this to uh, receive choco craft stuff. And the sorting connectors are all the way through this. So this little set of chocobo feathers here should just disappear and go into the chocobo feather barrel. But it's no longer doing that. It's glitching out instead. Uh, even the cobblestone doesn't go to this little bit over here. But... I'm going to have to rip it all out and start again. That's the be on and end all. I'm going to have to sort it all out and figure it all out and work all that out. But that is an off-camera job. That's something I'm going to do off-camera. I want to try and do some more building and bits and pieces around the place today for you guys. But the first things first, I've got a little mission that I wanted to sort out first. I've been waiting for ages. Well, get up here, numpty. A uh, little mission. I've been waiting for ages to try and get some sort of um, mob farm going, to get mob farm juices. But without being able to sort out the mob farm drops with a reliable system, I'm going to be stuck. I've also run a quarry. Uh, the quarry took a long time to run because the power coming from those solar panels up there, which have increased to the maximum I could at the time, all the way down to there... That is also not enough power to power a quarry at full speed. It powers a quarry just quick enough, but not at full speed, which is another pain in the butt. So I'm going to uh, increase that today. I'm going to take up some of these and take them to the next level of power base. So I think I'll just take um, a full run of this. These do multi-block by the looks of it. They do the charge 50,000. So if I take two away, the charge is still 50,000. But it's fully charged at the minute, which is nice. Nice to receive that much power. Um, but I do need to go and make... Hey, uh, that was a bad thing. That was, bad thing happened. Bad thing happened. Mistakes were made. Shots were fired. I do need to pick that back up. Because I don't want to lose any of that. Thank you. Give it here. Good, good. And back out again. And I can confirm also that the the pollination of trees, or the pollen that comes from trees, is about the same as the trees that are in the local area. Just that was one thing that I was concerned about, or considering investigating last episode. Uh, we've got uh, beech, we've got larch, we've got lime, and we've got teak. And in this area, we've got lime, we've got larch, we've got teak, and we've got beech. So the bees are only collecting from the trees that their closest proximity is. So I think I need some more of these industrial apiaries lined all the way down here. So every time I get a tree set, there's potential that I could be making um, more pollen so that I can start making the alvarez that I want to do the mass production. There is an alpari, uh, an alvary sieve as well, which I'm expecting this sieve is going to do the same thing as this little upgrade, the sieve upgrade, and make me more pollen there. Once I've made the first, then I've got a little bit extra coming in. So, there's a few things I want to craft up, a few things I want to do today, and let's try and get it all finished up. Okay, so I told you that I had done an ender quarry recently. Well, it was most successful. 
The only problem I had was that the input via a tesseract down underneath this chest here um, led into a refined relocation storage system, which all of these barrels belong to refined relocation sorting barrels. Uh, and it wasn't working. It was basically filling up the, the strong box or the chest that I had at the time and not distributing to any of the storage locations whatsoever. It was not relocating. It was not refined relocation. It was not relocating at all. So I ripped it all out and I went with something much simpler and easier that I expect to work, which is just a load of basic uh, thermal expansion stuff. So I've actually ba just gone back to ripping out all of the refined relocation stuff, apart from the barrels that I've already got, of course, because, well, there's no point changing those. Barrels are barrels. Um, and did some upgrades to get rid of some bits and pieces, did some void upgrades on these guys so that they would get rid of as well. Did a little uh, bits and pieces with some transfer nodes and some servos and stuff to make a few little tricks go on around the back here. And now I'm just smelting up a load of silver to make a load more of the solar panels. And I've got plenty of resources, so I can do a bit of smelting now. Maybe collect a bit more lava from down below, but let the smelting all auto-happen. And then start making tons of stuff. Alrighty. So while I've got the first batch of stuff all cooking up, I'm, I've got these bits and pieces all made up and I'm making more solar panels at the moment. But I just left that automated building itself, creating all the components I want for that. Uh, I want to increase the pollen creation. I want to increase pollen creation because this is way too slow. Way too slow. I mean, it's been another 30 minutes and I don't think I've received any new pollen from these bees at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suspend more bees from up above. Suspend them from the ceiling. Uh, making a kind of a, a lighting looking effect, I hope. Trying to make a lighting looking effect. And I'm going to use some jack-o'-lanterns. I thought I had more jack-o'-lanterns ready. Uh, let's just go and get some more of those. I thought I had more already ready. I guess they might be indoors in the building chest. I want a jack-o'-lantern, maybe. There's some more there. I need like ten. I want to match them up. Uh, no. Any more over here? I've got all sorts of stuff over here. Because of ripping stuff out and testing things out, I've got all sorts over here. Uh, ten transfer nodes already. I don't need any more of those. I don't need any servos in this case. Should be okay. There's some more jack-o'-lanterns though. Okay. So, 10 jack-o'-lanterns should be fine. Alright, so, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a run of lighting. And uh, first things first, I'm going to need to make a little stairwell up. So let's start with that, shall we? And I want to do like a beam effect. I want to beam across that looks like dangling lighting. And it also serves dual purpose. Because I'm going to end up with um, the power coming from the ceiling down and the pipes running around across there as well. So we've got two wide and it's on this section here. Yes. How far do I want to come down? I don't know exactly. Let's go up one more. Maybe. Around this height. Up in the top here. Um... I don't know how far the bees go, but I want the bees to be up here and then drop down. So I might even go up to this level, actually. So let's uh, let's step up another couple. So I'm in line with this. Uh, yeah, like this. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and then, and then, and then, and then it's kind of got to be paced out between all these guys here. So in this case, this would be... One up right there, so we would have an Avery block or an Alvary block just in the middle of three. So at this height, yeah, this height, let's go there and then have a jack o' lantern. Well, the jack o' lantern can't go on top of it, but we can put a jack o' lantern next to it if we mess around just a little bit here let's go 
across like this. I can remove all of this wood later. Uh, let's just build across here. So we've got the same kind of exposed area here. I want to be able to move piping around between them as well. So I haven't really figured that one out yet. There we go. So we've got light and we've got bees. We can put the bees in here and we can put all of the upgrades in these as we go. But then we've got um, another one, two, th three. So we've got one, two, three. And then it would be an upright. Or is that an upright? There's the upright there. Yeah, so three. So every three, we have an upright. Yeah, that would work. Get rid of those. And then there will be a beehive in between those. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, one, two. And then we'll put another one there and another one there. Okay. That looks about right to me. Okay, let's just do it this way. So that's a third, then there's a pole, then that's that one, then there's this, then that's the th there, and then one, two, three. Got to come back this way a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. And then we put another one there. So it's every, every three, I'm going to put one of these um, industrial aprons. Yeah? And then how am I going to get all the goodies from them? Well, first of all, I've got to bring power down to them. So I was thinking about that first and foremost. Power down. Well, uh, let's get rid of these for now. I've got some plenty more to do. The power down. I could bring power down from one side or the other. And I could possibly bring the um, pipes to move stuff around up from one side or the other. Because I'm basically going to extract everything out of them. With the automation upgrades in them, I should be able to extract everything out of them. So let's just go with a straight up into the air type thing here. And then, uh, yeah, then that should then be able to connect to the solar panels that I put up there by just going up one to that. I don't know how that's going to be exactly. B, get it? I don't know exactly how that's going to be from looks point of view, but should encourage it to be hanging down onto the the set, hanging down onto the the lighting effect, and then we want this to be on here, and then maybe just to make it look kind of even, bring this up to here. So it'll look kind of like a, a hanging bit of something. And then I'll bring this across that way, maybe. I may, ah, actually, that's a good idea. I could have the glass put back there. Where did the glass go? I'll have to find the glass. I could have this coming all the way along up here. And this piping coming all the way along there. And it might look like it's connected up here somewhere. And then that could go through to the power cells there yeah the power generation just there to generate power to bring into these guys there we go it's already powered very nice oh, that one's powered now as well yep because i powered them up before i started so we could go there 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 and then up to the ceiling and across yes this could work this could work and try and keep it all the same all the way along so that they all look the same. They all look like they're hanging lighting of some description. This. Yeah. And then put all these the same. And make them look like they're hanging from this side. Uh, didn't quite work that, that way around. There. That can come down here. There we go. And then on this one as well we can bring this all the way over here there we go you're getting the idea let me just finish this up and we'll take a look from down there all right and then we just to bring the piping down here and we should be good to go let's bring the piping down like this and then maybe just put a chest there i suppose a chest will do for now 
Uh, do I already have a chest made? No, I don't. Okay. Let's quickly make a chest. Jungle wood will be fine for chests. I dislike jungle wood in the first place. Okay, let's put this just there. There we go. Alright, so you kind of got it coming down here to this section. And I'm going to have a section here for storing all the bits that come from there. But it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks like hanging lighting. It doesn't exactly look like hanging lighting, but it does look formatted and okay, I think. I think it looks okay. There may be some bits and pieces that I can do with covers and blocks and little bits and pieces just to make it look a little bit more like lighting, but it's kind of got that spotlight look to it, hasn't it? Bright spotlights. Maybe that'll work. And yeah, it keeps the place looking tidy, keeps it all up in the air. I was considering putting it all down here, but then having pipes coming down every single one from the power or pipes coming from the sides or something like that just didn't appeal to me. This appeals slightly more from the build point of view to get it like that. And then uh, we should be receiving power over there and uh, getting everything we want from the bees that are in these apiaries. Uh, so all I've got to do now is continue down there until I've done all 10 and then uh, put all the bits and pieces on them and connect them all up and put some bees in them. Some common bees. I've got plenty of common bees. Another little job I wanted to do was to clean all these beehives out and only put one of each variety in there so that there is... Uh, what is it? 3 by 5. So 15 varieties this side, 15 varieties that side. 30 varieties of bee that are producing but are not my primary production bees. My primary production bees are still supposed to be in those alvaries. And in the alvaries, I need to make, well, 8 pollen per block of an alvary. And there's like 24 blocks in an alvary or something like that. Maybe 18, 32? Maybe like 32 maybe for an alvary. So I need to make lots and lots of pollen. And this should help me make lots and lots of pollen fast. Well, I've just collected up all of my bees from all of the hives either side of the hive. And this is what we got. I seem to have lost a few queens and princesses along the way. And uh, possibly they're somewhere else, or maybe they died off. Mostly they were pristine stock, but I know that pristine stock does eventually die after so many cycles. Uh, and what I wanted to do with the Arboretum was to sort out forest queens and imperial queens to go in there. Because the imperial queens make the royal jelly, and the forest queens, well, it's, uh, it's a tree farm. So yeah, that was the idea there. And then all of the goodies that we get will be either forest, uh, well, will be pollen. Uh, I need pl I need flowers. Dang it, there's a thing I didn't think about. Uh, and I can also get the royal jelly. So I can get the pollen and the royal jelly from this set up here. But what I've got to do now is just get some more of each of these types so I can alternate them nicely between the two so forest forest there you go and then i've got one two three four five more to do and then the rest of them down here so there's still a little bit more work there and i've also got to get some flowers up here how am i going to get a flower up here uh yeah i'm going to need to put some dirt with a flower on up there at some point like about right now so what can i do with that i just get a flower any old flower will do i guess any old flowers? Any old flowers? Any any old flowers? It's not like I'm short of flowers, is it? No, I've got plenty of flowers. Plenty of bees. Plenty of flowers. Let's get some dirt. Well, two dirt is not going to cut it, is it? Uh, well, let's just dig some up. There we go. All right, six. That'll do for the bees that I've got currently. And let's get those set up up here. I don't know how far reaching they travel, but still... Um, can I, can I place, can I place this on there? Mm, that's not going to be easy, is it? I may have to build up slightly first. This is something that I hadn't quite figured out. I hadn't worked on the idea that I was going to need flowers. Although I should have. I've been doing bees long enough. 
Right, are you now happy that you've got flowers? Mm -hmm. Energy required 49.9 RF per tick. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And then they will off and around and do stuff. Awesome. Okay. I don't know how that's going to make things look up here. Um, possibly not too bad if I figure out what I'm going to do to block things in anyway. To make it look like a lighting. Wait. I do have, uh, is it Imperials? Giving me some kind of regen effect. Imperials giving me a slight regen. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, let's just do the rest of these then. All right. Well, they're, they're all done and they're all functioning and they're all working, but they're not getting power quite quick enough. It does look quite cool having the flowers up there though. Um, but I do now feel that I want to swap out all of these solar panels, but the solar panels are keeping charged. So it's only at the night that they start losing the charge, and the cables that I'm using because of my limited resources uh, can't transfer fast enough. Those cables transfer about 400 RF per tick. And these guys are only making two a tick, but they've got a big storage. So by the time I've... Um, I've taken some out of it through the connectivity of all this. I believe it's through the connectivity of all this anyway. Uh, it's not emptying out fast enough for me to pick it up and not waste energy. So I'm going to cover over all of the solar panels in one section at a time to stop them producing solar energy and hoping that they're just going to wear out. Because there's no light level. They're not getting a light level now, so they shouldn't produce it anymore. But they should also remove or reduce. Yeah, they should reduce. If they're all connected as a proper multi-block, then they should reduce slowly but surely. Yeah, there we go. Look. So even this one at the end here should be passing its power along the line. It's not, however. Maybe there's a limit, and I'm about to find out what that limit is, which will be useful while building the ceiling to figure out what limit it is. I've also got an idea to use these connections here into these solar panel arrays and try and uh, bring the solar panel arrays down across a little bit more. More like bands down the side rather than bands across. But for right now, I just want to take the 50,000 RF out of each cell before I break it and turning into the more advanced solar panels. So that is what I'm planning on doing next. Uh, the only problem now is that there is nowhere for it to go because these cells that I was putting it in are probably near enough full. Yes, they are. All near enough full. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's just cover them all over and let them bleed dry for a little bit. I may just set myself up another quarry while I'm waiting to use the power and clean the system out so that I can see where it's moving power and where it's all coming from and all that kind of stuff well we've still got a long way to go but slowly but surely these are emptying out fully and ready i don't want to waste any energy i didn't want to waste any of the energy doing this but now i want to collect all of the solar panels up all these solar panel ones that i created and create a bunch more and then go and make as many of these solar panel twos as I can. And then maybe go and try and figure out if I've got enough to make some leadstone energy cells. I should probably have enough to leadstone energy cells. And some of these lapis and mirrors to make photovoltaic cells. And turn a load of these solar panel twos into solar panel threes. Transfer rate of 512 with a generation of 64. That means that I'm also going to have to upgrade these pipes because these hardened flux cables do not generate or do not transfer enough power to make them worthwhile in here. So I'm probably going to need to do some redstone, gener uh, redstone, liquid redstone work. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to need to do a lot of things to get this up and running and speedy as possible. Uh, but I'm just going to now go ahead and duplicate what I've started on and upgrade some of the parts that I've started doing and that is going to be it for today though.
that's all for this episode. You now know what I'm doing, and I'm just going to get on and finish that off so that we've got this section of the plan organized, the power system. Solar power as well, yes. Uh, I'm currently running another ender quarry, ready to get it all the materials that I need to be able to craft all these bits and pieces. So hopefully, I shouldn't have too much problems getting that sorted before next episode. And while I'm waiting around for things to happen, I will start figuring out what I'm going to do with the bee sorting systems and stuff. And hopefully get that refined relocation ripped out and relocated. Yes. See what I did there. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching another episode of A Druid's Tale. I will see you in the very next, which will be soon, I hope. Goodbye.